Is sexual energy just a primal urge, or could it be the secret to unlocking genius? Surprisingly, many innovators and leaders have harnessed this powerful force. In this video, we dive into Napoleon Hill's groundbreaking concept from Think and Grow Rich, revealing how sexual energy transmutation can spark extraordinary creativity and success. Stay with us to discover how you can transform this fundamental energy into a tool for personal greatness. Sexual energy is often misunderstood, seen as a mere physical urge. Yet, Napoleon Hill's concept of sexual transmutation in Think and Grow Rich casts it in a different light. It's like having a supercar in your garage, but only using it to drive to the grocery store. Hill proposed that this energy, often seen as a basic human need, holds the key to unlocking creativity and intellectual prowess. This isn't about turning into a monk or living like a hermit. Instead, it's about steering this energy towards goals and ambitions, much like channeling a wild river to generate electricity. It's like finding a new app on your phone that you never knew could make your life easier. People often chase after success and creativity as if they're hidden in a maze. Hill's idea suggests that the key might just be in our pockets all along. Hill noticed something intriguing in his study of over 25,000 people. Those who made significant achievements later in life often did so because they learned to focus their sexual energy, not just on physical expression, but on their ambitions and dreams. It's a bit like realizing the stove is not just for boiling water, but can create a gourmet meal. The majority only discover this after years of running on autopilot, letting this powerful force dissipate rather than harnessing it for something greater. In essence, it's not about suppressing or ignoring your sexual energy, but rather about channeling it into something beyond the physical, like converting steam into mechanical power. It's about understanding that this primal force, often seen as a distraction, could actually be the fuel for your creative rocket. It's like playing a video game where you suddenly find a hidden power-up that boosts your character's abilities, except, in this game, the character is you, and the power-up is already within you. The concept of creative imagination being fueled by sexual energy is fascinating, and it's not just a theory from dusty old books. Think of it like converting a raw material into a valuable product. Just like a lump of clay can be transformed into a beautiful vase, sexual energy, when redirected, can turn into bursts of creativity and innovation. It's like having a supercharged battery inside you. Instead of letting this battery drain through physical expressions, imagine it powering your brain. This is where the magic happens. When this energy is focused towards creative pursuits, be it writing, painting, inventing, or even problem solving at work, it amplifies your ability to think outside the box. It's like adding an extra shot of espresso to your morning coffee. Suddenly, you see things clearer and ideas flow like a river. Now, this doesn't mean you should start avoiding romantic encounters like the plague. It's all about balance. It's like juggling, keeping your personal desires in one hand and your creative goals in the other, ensuring neither falls. You don't have to be a monk, but maybe don't be a Casanova either. This powerful source of energy within us can be a wild horse, hard to tame, but once you do, it can take you places. It's about understanding and directing your energy, not just to seek pleasure, but to also fuel your ambitions and dreams. When you master this, you're not just living, you're thriving creatively. Throughout history, the concept of sexual energy influencing creativity and achievement isn't new. Many famous figures have harnessed this powerful force to fuel their genius. Take, for example, some of the world's renowned artists and thinkers. Their romantic and sexual passions often led to bursts of creativity. It's as if their love lives were not just tabloid fodder, but a secret ingredient to their masterpieces. Let's look at the literary world. Writers like Ernest Hemingway and F. Scott Fitzgerald were known for their turbulent romantic escapades, which seemed to ignite their creative fires. It's almost as if their pens were charged by their hearts' electrical storms. And it wasn't just writers. Inventors and scientists, too, found a link between their emotional passions and their work. Consider someone like Nikola Tesla. Though he famously remained single, his writings suggest a deep understanding of sexual energy's potential, hinting that he might have tapped into this resource in his own unique way. In the world of music, the connection between sexual energy and creativity becomes almost palpable. Think about the rock stars and pop icons whose on-stage charisma and off-stage romances were as much a part of their legend 
as their music. It's like their guitars and microphones were extensions of their dynamic sexual energy, transformed into rhythm and melody. These examples suggest that channeling sexual energy doesn't always mean a direct conscious transfer into work. Sometimes it's about the emotional intensity and passion derived from relationships and attractions fueling one's drive and creativity. It's a bit like using the heat from a romantic summer fling to bake a batch of artistic cookies. Unpredictable, a bit messy, but often resulting in something deliciously creative. Transmuting sexual energy into everyday success isn't just for the likes of geniuses and artists. It's a skill that anyone can develop, and it can add a surprising zing to your daily life. Think about it. That energy that sometimes has you daydreaming in the middle of an important meeting, that could be the fuel for your next big idea at work. It's about steering that energy away from distractions and towards your goals. This practice involves first recognizing the presence of this potent energy. Instead of letting it lead you into unproductive or aimless activities, channel it into something constructive. For instance, if you're feeling a surge of energy, instead of wasting it, why not dive into a new project? brainstorm ideas for a business, or even tidy up that workspace which you've been ignoring for weeks. It's like having a superpower. Instead of Spider-Man's spidey sense, you have your creative sense tingling, guiding you to use that energy in ways that benefit you in the long run. It's about making your daily tasks not just something you do, but something you excel in. And the best part? You might just find yourself enjoying these tasks more. It's like putting a turbocharger in your regular car. Suddenly, the daily drive is a lot more exciting. However, it's not all about work. This energy can also enhance your personal relationships. By directing your sexual energy into understanding and empathizing with your partner, you can strengthen your bond. So you're not just succeeding at work, but you're also winning hearts at home. Balancing sexuality with personal growth is an art, a bit like juggling. You've got to keep all the balls in the air without dropping any. This balance isn't about pushing away your sexual energy. Rather, it's about integrating it into your life goals. Imagine your sexual energy as a river. Left unchecked, it can flood and cause chaos. But when guided and channeled, it becomes a source of power, turning the wheels of creativity and achievement. Now, this doesn't mean you turn into a monk or a nun. Far from it. It's about being the master of your energy, not its servant. It's using that spark for fueling your passions, not just the romantic kind, but passions like your career, hobbies, or personal development. And here's a slice of humor. Think of it like having an energetic and enthusiastic pet. You wouldn't let it run wild and chew up the sofa. Instead, you train it, give it tasks and activities, channeling its energy productively. In your daily routine, this could mean starting your day with meditation, focusing on your goals, or even redirecting thoughts to your current project when you feel your energy wandering. It's about recognizing those moments when your energy is more like a wild horse and gently reining it in, directing it towards something constructive, say, painting, writing, or even brainstorming for work. This practice is not a one-off magic trick, but a lifelong journey. It requires patience, understanding, and a bit of humor about one's own foibles and failings. But the payoff? A richer, more balanced life where your sexual energy is not a distraction, but a powerful ally in your quest for personal and professional fulfillment. We've just scratched the surface of how sexual energy can be a powerhouse for creativity and success. Remember, it's about transformation, not suppression. If you found this insight enlightening, like, subscribe, and share. Explore more on this and similar topics with us, and don't forget to check out our other videos for more unique perspectives on harnessing your inner potential.